Okay, problem number 13. Wastewater collection math book and sewergeek.com. This states what is the detention time in hours and minutes in a tank measuring 50 feet by 100 feet by 20 feet if the tank receives 3 mgd, 3 million gallons per day. Uh, so again, I like to go ahead and draw the tank anyway, just so I get all the units and it is square. So that makes life a little easier. At least it makes the math a little easier. I'll make it 20 feet deep, 50 feet wide, 150 feet long. It's going to be full anyway, so it still doesn't matter. This is just like the previous problem, number 12. The difference is they want it in hours and minutes instead. So we're going to take a look at these answers, and there's something that's going to jump right out at us. Is you have 8 hours 58 minutes and 8 hours 96 minutes. Well, 96 minutes more than an hour, so that would really be 9 hours and 36 minutes. What you'll find examples like this on a test that you take for the state exam. What this answer is probably going to come out to be is 8.96 hours. And someone's going to go, ooh, 8, eight, eight hours and 96 minutes and grab that and not convert this 0.96 into minutes, which is actually 58 minutes. So let's take a look. We'll do just like we did before. And we'll convert this to a volume. That's 20 times 50 times 150. So we'll go 20 times 50 times 150. Now I'm going to get 150,000. it's feet cubed because it's feet times feet times feet. Then I'm going to convert it to gallons just like I did in the previous problem. So I'm going to go times 7.48 gallons per foot cubed. Cancel out the foot cubed and I get gallons times 7.48 122,000 gallons. So that means the tank is 1,122,000 gallons and the flow that we receive is 3 million gallons per day. So I'm going to take that 1,122,000 and divide it by 3 million gallons per day. And so what that's going to do is that gonna, that's going to give me days because the gallons will cancel out and I'll end up with days. So let's go divide it by 3 million and it should be less than a day because it's 1 over 3 equals point three, seven, four days. Well, I want to get it in hours and minutes, so I'm going to have to take that 0.374 once again, divide it by 24 hours per day. Nice abbreviation per day. And that's going to cancel out and give me hours. have to back that one up. 0.374 days. And then in order to convert it from days into hours, there are 24 hours in a day. So I'm going to multiply that times 24 hours in a day. And so that's 0.374 days, so it should be a third of a day, so it should be about 8 hours. So I'm going to go times 24, and that's going to give me 8.976 hours. And so there you are at 8 hours 96 minutes. So someone might grab that. So that's going to be 8 hours plus 0.976 hours. 
So I'll take this 0.976 go times 60 minutes per hour. And the hours cancel out and I get minutes. So I'll just go minus 8 to make that 0.976 and I'll go times 60. It's going to give me 58.5 minutes. 8 hours, 58.5, 6 minutes, whatever. So it is 8 hours, 58 minutes. So this is it right here. But before we started doing any math, we could look at these things and we can see. You might see uh, what is 0.4 times 60. So you might see 8 hours, 24 minutes. And then down here, 8 hours, 40 minutes. Because if you got 8.4, either way, we want you to pick that off. So when you look for those... In the in the formulas in the answers, it'll give you a clue what you're gonna what you're gonna be looking for. It'll at least narrow it down so you know it's not either of these two. Because these two exist. If you multiply something wrong here, you'll get one of these answers.